What's going on guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna to be answering a question that I've been getting a lot and that is should I move to Las Vegas with little or no money? All right, so like I said guys, this video I'm gonna be covering the question of should you move here to Las Vegas with little or no money? And before we actually hop into even getting into this video, I want you to ask yourself four simple questions. Do you have a car? Do you have any money in savings? Are you attractive? And do you have any valuable skills? If your answer to those is no, then do not move here. There's a big reason for me saying this because sometimes guys, we have to get real with ourselves and a lot of us are not willing to do that. I know a lot of the times we wanna relocate, we wanna move, we're sick of our current situation, but you have to realize one thing, by moving somewhere new, you're still the constant, you are still you. So no matter where you go, if you still bring lazy habits, bad attitudes, and a willingness to not work and entitlement, then you're not going to succeed. Now this is not saying that everybody is like this. Some people do just need to get out of their situation, they're in a very bad situation. But if you don't have any of these things, I don't know how you would possibly be able to move here. You don't have money to live, you don't have a car to live in or to work from. So get real with yourself before you even watch this video and if you have those things you're able to answer yes to those questions maybe you don't have savings but you have a yes to the other three then let's hop into it okay so the first question that i asked you guys was do you have a car now this was for good reason because one of the suggestions that i would say is if you move here and you don't have any money but you do have a vehicle drive for uber drive for lyft drive for grubhub do doordash deliveries anything that you can do to make money. At this point, if you don't have anything in your savings, you have no money, you're moving here to Vegas, you need to get a job, plain and simple. So you're gonna have to take what you can get. You may have to just go work overnight and then wake up in the morning and do Uber for eight hours to be able to make some money, save some money, get a down payment, and get yourself an apartment. There's plenty of ways that you can do this. It's not going to be easy. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is gonna take a certain type of person to actually make this happen. So if you're somebody who is lazy, you know, you're not, willing to work, you're not willing to grind, you're gonna complain that you can't watch TV, you know, that you're not able to eat out, you're not able to do all of these things that we take as a luxury. And nowadays a lot of people think that they're basic necessities, but in reality, a lot of what we have nowadays is a luxury. So this is a time where you're not gonna be able to be picky, you're gonna to have to take what you can get, you're gonna to have to work your ass off and you can make it happen. But if you have a car, it is gonna be a lot easier for you to do this. You will need a little bit of money to get the business license and to get your TNC permit. But after that, you're pretty much good to go. I would recommend after you start getting that going, have at least 500 to $1,000 in your savings account just in case something happens to your car. Because if something happens to your car and you're out of work, then you're not gonna have a way to make money. So have something set aside as you get going and um, I think you can be okay if you can get it done. Personally, this is what I did when I moved from Florida to California. I did Uber to start, and it's a great way to make connections. You may be able to even land a job doing it that way. Okay, now the second question I asked you is, do you have any valuable skills? Because if you don't have any skills, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to find a job. And if you're looking for more information on how to find a job, websites to use, those type of things, here's a card to the how to find a job here in Vegas video that I did previously that you guys can check out. Now, it's important that you have skills. You know, if you're just a guy who just wants a job because you want money, well, welcome to the club. But what do you offer? What type of value do you bring? If you don't have a lot of value, you don't have a lot of skills, you have to understand that you're probably gonna have to take minimum wage jobs. You're gonna have to just take what you can get, like I said previously in this video. If you're somebody who has management skills, you have people skills, you have maybe skills in video editing, skills in photography, skills in administrative work, skills in financing, whatever it is, whatever type of skills you have, it's gonna be important that you utilize those. That's gonna be what's gonna make you an income because at the end of the day, a company always pays you for the value that you bring. And if you don't offer much value, you're not gonna make much money. You offer a lot of value, you will make a lot of money. So if you're somebody who doesn't really have some skills, get some skills. Maybe before you move here, watch a ton of YouTube videos, learn video editing, learn photography, get yourself you know, some sort of camera, start shooting with your phone. There's so many different tools that we can start with and that we can use in order to learn and educate ourselves to get to where we wanna be. Maybe you wanna do some sort of speaking. I don't know what it is that you wanna do, 
But nowadays, you can pretty much learn everything from YouTube. So if you're watching this video, you have access to YouTube. Instead of spending time on TV, video games, all these different things, spend that time to learn some new skills and I guarantee you, you'll make a lot more money. Now the third thing I wanna get into, and this is, I don't necessarily like this one, but the fact of the matter is it's, it's just the truth and it is what it is. And I asked you guys, are you attractive? And you have to be real with yourself. Are you actually attractive? I know we like to say that we all are attractive, but in reality, some of us are sevens, some of us are sixes, some of us, we know we're a 10. The, the more attractive you are, guys, the easier it is gonna be for you to get some sort of um, job very easily here. Why? Because obviously attraction is the first thing that we see. So if you're good looking and you're a receptionist, they're probably gonna be more likely to hire you than somebody who is like a five or a six. And I know this sounds terrible, guys, but I'm sorry, it's just the way it is. So also, if you're looking to get a job without any money and you're moving here and you wanna get a high income very fast and you wanna earn cash, work at a pool, work in a casino. If you're a you know, cocktail waitress, you know, you're gonna have to be a good looking person in order to do well at that job. You're gonna have to be friendly as well. So same thing if you're, if you're a guy, you know, you want to work at the pool and you want to be running drinks back and forth. You know, if you have a good looking body without your shirt on, you're going to be hired for that position because that's the type of image that they want. It's like, if you go to Hooters, you don't see, you know, you see a certain type of individual in those jobs guys. And I know this is a touchy subject because a lot of people don't want to hear this. And a lot of people just are not super they're just, they're, they're not physically attractive. That's not their strength. They are mentally very well. They have a lot of skills. They're a good person. You know, at the end of the day, you have to use what you have. And if you have that attractiveness, you are just plain and simple gonna have it easier to find something. And the last question I asked you guys was, do you have any savings? Because like I said in the beginning of this video, if you don't have anything in your savings and you don't have a job lined up and you have no money and you're trying to move here, guys, don't do it because your you know dream that you're chasing after is going to turn into a nightmare very fast you're going to be here and you're going to be by yourself most likely you have no resources to do anything it's going to be very 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 hard i just would not suggest it i would have something saved i mean at minimum you should have like at least a thousand bucks and that's that's super low i wouldn't even recommend that but before you move here, guys, just have something saved up. You don't want to be out here not knowing anybody with no, no car, you know, like that's just a disaster waiting to happen. So if you don't have a savings, I would recommend again, some of the previous things I said in this video, get some skills, save up some money, maybe get a car so that you have some options when you move here. It doesn't have to be a fancy car. You can get something for 3,000, 5,000 bucks. So that'll get you from point A to point B. It may require some maintenance, so you will have to save some money, but at least it's gonna be able to make you some money. So ultimately, my takeaway from this video, guys, is if you don't have a car, you, don't, you aren't attractive, you don't have any type of savings, you don't have any skills, don't think about moving here. I know it sounds nice to wanna to move to Las Vegas, and again, some of you may not be in the greatest of situation, but work on changing your situation and then think about relocating because if you are in a bad situation now and then you move and you still have that bad situation, all you did was move from point A to point B. Again, you are always the constant no matter where you are. So I get this question a lot, but guys, if you don't have any money, don't move here. It's just not smart. And I've heard plenty of stories of people coming here and just being gone very fast. You know, maybe having to get a family member to fly them back out because they just, they sunk so fast. So those are my suggestions for you guys. If you have any suggestions about things you want me to cover, drop them down in the comments below and make sure you guys subscribe. Hey, if you want to move here, you don't have money. I'm sorry to break your dreams. Just get yourself together, then come on down and you're gonna have a much, much, much better time when you move here. And last but not least, before you guys go, if you are looking for more information about moving here, some suggestions for why you should move here, why you should not move here, areas to avoid, how to get a job, all that good stuff, any questions you might have in regards to actually moving here, I'm gonna put a card to my Las Vegas playlist. Make sure you guys watch those videos and it's gonna give you all the information you're gonna need. See you guys in the next one.